Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Brooks here, and in today's video, another space mock creation, a couple of Blarktron speeder bikes. Check them out, stay tuned. Welcome back everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you a look at these little creations. So. Recently, I profiled this Mtron speeder that I built, and this was inspired by watching some old um, space, uh, classic space collections of sets and reviews over on Jane Brick's original channel. Got me thinking about all kinds of stuff that LEGO used to do in the 80s in particular, which is part of what I'm trying to emulate a bit, but make it my own with all these things I'm doing. So I got a couple of these that I created recently and I profile in the channel. And then I thought about it and I wanted to try something with Blacktron as well. So that's where these originated. Now, in comparison, offhand, yeah, these are larger than the Mtron one. Partly by design, because Blacktron is supposed to be the baddie. I wanted to give them something a little bit more intimidating. And this was the result. Um, both of them are pretty much duplicates other than one or two parts being different. You can see this is definitely a Kind of a heavy duty speeder designed to go through space. It's got uh, three different thrusters, rockets on there. A couple of uh, weapons on the side there, and that classic space design of using the the bullhorn or whatever piece for a different uh, type of functionality. They Lego did that a lot back in the 80s. Got a very big front end here, and I used this little four wheeler piece on the top to create just a little bit of a and a bit of a curvature. An interesting effect that I thought came out really well. I created a very large uh, front end air intake. The idea that the air is, or something is kind of, you know, theoretically going <clears throat> going through there, being pulled in um, for the engine and all that stuff. It just, it looks very intimidating from the front, I'd say. Um, more so than maybe something else would compared to this. Um, one of the primary pieces I used with this build is this horse and buggy style piece, which I think just gives a little bit of texture on the side. A little bit of a, almost like a roll cage in a sense, if you think about it like a race car. Um, unfortunately, I only had one of those in yellow, the other one I have is black, so I'll have to replace that at some point. Um, I do like the yellow, it gives it a perfect accent to go with the classic Blacktron. I did use lime green on the front just to allude to the generation 2 version 2 that came out a little bit later after version 1 which has a yellow and black focus so i think the the blending works pretty well overall um just a little bit of green blending on the side here with a couple of these telescope or um binocular pieces I'm not even sure what they are they're just there for added effect and look and texture same with this piece here um the back engine area is built up quite a bit. I'm actually really happy with how this back end came out using those small um, pieces there to kind of reverse the angle of the attachment going into the jumper pieces. It actually worked out really, really well. And then just kind of a little tail on the end there, a little fin. Yeah. Not sure there's much more to say about it. And yeah, using a traditional like a four-wheeler type of Part on there for steering, I think that's practical and makes sense. Again, this one's the same other than black instead of yellow for that main um, roll cage piece. Everything else is pretty much designed the same. In fact, this is what I built first um, as I was doing this, and I then I later actually created this one from it and added the yellow after I found that part. So this was almost the prototype, and then this is kind of the final. Um, I'll probably replace this at some point when I can find that part online, but overall, I'm very happy with how these look. I think they can be great for setting a scene. And that's going to do it for my look at these Blacktron speeder mocks. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm really, really digging all the space stuff I've been doing lately. I'm just feeling the vibe and continuing the groove. And more and more things are just kind of coming out of my noggin, <laughs> so to speak. If you haven't, be sure to follow me over on Twitch at Brooks Bricks, where I build all these things on live streams multiple times a week. A lot of great community there, lots of good times, and, you know, good people. <laughs> and if you haven't, be sure to subscribe here as well. Hit that like button in case you will come or thought below, all that good stuff. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you. Bye.